What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the new item sets coming with the two new dungeons in Update 41 here in the Elder Scrolls Online. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. First of all, the Bedlam Veil Dungeon. The light armor set will be called Blind Path Induction. This is going to add 1,096 max magic. Uh, three pieces will add 4% healing. Four pieces will add another 1,096 max magic. Uh, the five-piece bonus will increase the strength of your damage shields by 13% to targets 15 meters to or closer to you. And also will increase your healing done by 13% to targets more than 15 meters away from you. When it comes to the medium set, the Tarnished Nightmare, the two, three, and four-piece bonus set is 657 critical chance. And the five-piece bonus set is when you deal critical damage to an enemy, glass shards burst eight meters around them dealing physical damage to enemies in the burst and applying the status of status effect dealing additional physical damage and applying minor breach for four seconds reducing the target's physical and spell resistance by 2974 this effect can occur once every eight seconds and the damage scales off the higher of your weapon or spell damage and last but not least for this dungeon, you have the heavy set, which is going to be the Reflected Fury. And the two-piece is going to give you 12, uh, 1,206 max health. The three-piece is going to give you 1,206 max health. Uh, the four-piece is going to give you 1,096 max stamina. And the five-piece bonus, when you taunt an enemy, you gain a stack of broken shards for five seconds, up to a five-stack max. You can only gain one stack every one second. When Broken Shard ends, you release the stack in a 8 meter blast, dealing physical damage to enemies hit and applying Major Maim to them for 3 seconds per stack of Broken Shards consumed, reducing their damage done by 10%. The damage scales, of course, off of your max health. And when it comes to this dungeon, you're going to have the Monster Mask, the Blind, which is going to add 657 crit chance. And the two-piece bonus is critically healing yourself or an ally grants them a damage or an hourglass damage shield that absorbs up to 2,692 damage for six seconds. While the damage shield holds for a three, second, three seconds after it ends, the target gains minor force, increasing their critical damage done by 10%. Now, of course, the other uh, dungeon will have available to us with update 30, uh, 41 Excuse me, is the Oath Sworn Pit. You're going to get the light armor of uh, Cinders, which is going to be a two-piece two bonus of 1,487 offensive penetration, a three-piece bonus of 129 weapon and spell damage, a four-piece bonus of 129 weapon and spell damage, and a five-piece damage on dealing damage. Summon a Cinder Moth for eight seconds that chases the target and searches for a new one within eight meters of the initial or when the initial one is slain. The first enemy that gets near the Cinder Moth causes it to stop and burst after one second, dealing flame damage and applying the burning effect to enemies within eight meters. This can occur once every eight seconds, uh, eight seconds and of course scales off your weapon and spell damage. We have the Hunger Medium Armor Set, which is going to give you a two-piece bonus of 129 stamina recovery, 129 weapon and spell damage for the three-piece bonus, the four-piece bonus of 100 or 1,487 offensive penetration, and the five-piece bonus healing yourself or an ally makes your target uh, bloody hunger for three seconds. Dealing direct damage to an enemy makes them bloodied for three seconds. Bloodied enemies take 4% more damage from a uh, from and deal 4% less damage to the blood hunger hungry targets. The uh, heavy set will be the Black Grove grounding set. This is going to give you a 4% healing taken for a two-piece bonus. A three-piece and four-piece bonus will add 1,206 maximum health. And the five-piece bonus, after taking direct damage three times within five seconds, you create a five-meter area for 10 seconds. You and the group members who touch the area gain grounding for 15 seconds, reducing the cost of roll dodging by 20% and increasing block mitigation by 12%. This uh, effect, of course, can occur once every 10 seconds. And for this dungeon, we will have a master, uh, a monster mask, of course, the construct monster mask, which adds 129 weapon and spell damage for the one-piece bonus, 
And the two-piece bonus, attacking an enemy with fully charged heavy attack, throws an axe at your enemy, dealing physical damage and reducing their armor for five seconds. This effect can occur once every 10 seconds, and the damage and armor reduction scales off the higher of your weapon or spell damage. The axe drops to the ground after traveling to your tar target for uh, five seconds. Touching the axe reduces the cooldown of this set by five seconds. Overall, these sound like interesting uh, monster sets and, of course, new gear sets with the two new dungeons with update 41. But at the same time, until these are tested, people kind of have to wait and see if there will be something that there is that they're really going to want to run, you know, all the time with the other sets they may be running right now. You know, maybe mix and match them or, you know, try some new sets out altogether. We all know kind of how ESO, ESO goes. Unfortunately, it seems like a lot of times uh, the sets from Dungeons are not that great every once in a while we'll get a really good dungeon set but most of the time you kind of feel like uh, the sets you get from trials are really the main i guess you would say meta sets if you're trying to go kind of for that maximum you know damage output or you know the best tanking or healing set a lot of those will come from uh, some of the older dungeons or the newer trials or the older trials well, like i said well i kind of have to wait and see how these sets work i really would like to see you know, a lot of sets in game, a lot more sets be more viable than they are. Cause I feel like we have so many sets that are never really used and we get so many sets added to the game year in and year out. So leave me a comment with your thoughts about these new sets coming in update 31. I mean, 41. And of course, if you like the video hit the like, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.